Hi, this is Terry. I've been maintaining a 180 pound weight loss for over a year with a clean, whole foods, meat focused, low carb, low calorie approach. Hey there, tomorrow's Monday and uh, let's get our food ready for tomorrow. We're going to take a yummy, yummy taco bowl. <laughs> to get this started, we have our, our salad that we make up over the weekend. And uh, this is one that I made last week. It's still hanging in there. I had made eight of them. And uh, I think there's two more left after this one. So, uh, but that's how it looks. So, eight. So, probably about six days ago. Still looks really good. It's not brown or bad. That paper towel, I'm telling you. You all told me about that paper towel. I love you, love you, love you. Thank you. So, let's think about, well, I shouldn't start it off. I got on my shopping list some more of this fajita seasoning. Or some fajita seasoning. Uh, I couldn't find the same brand that I had originally. And some mild Southwest seasoning. And we're going to put in some ranch seasoning because, uh, yeah... Going in with all the things that make me think Southwestern. Um, I'm going to use some garlic lovers. It's the garlic lovers. And then, I don't know why I put things up. I got to put it on the meat, too. Oh, man. I hope I have a ground beef. Oh, I do have a ground beef. Good deal. Okay. And then, we're going to use this Bravo Avo seasoning. This came all the way from Blame Canada. Blame Canada. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 -da. Blame Canada. <laughs> South Park. Oh, good old South Park. All right. <clears throat> now we're going to go ahead and if you're tracking your acros, we built this salad. We built this city. We built this city on rock and roll. Built this city. We built this city on rock and roll. Bong, oh. bong. Say you don't know me. Or recognize my face. Say you don't care to go to that kind of place. Knee deep in the hoopla. All right, all right, all right, all right. Sorry. We built this salad. It had 100 grams of cabbage, 60 onion, and 60 rutabaga. So that together was 71 calories. So you, I build it first, original, you know, on the first day, and I add things as I go. Then that way, what I can do is carry over from one day to the next, and um, it's not any no thinking involved if I'm doing a tracker. So on my little tracker, I'd put in mm, 66 of my peppers. 66 grams, of, where's my lid, of peppers. So if I'm tracking, you just build your plate on your on your scale. It's just easy peasy. That's what I did. You just build it on the scale. Then you zero it out and say, how much jicama are we doing here, sister? Say, mm, 57 grams of jicama. And then from there, you would write that down or plug it in. See, you're not, if you're not recording your food, you wouldn't have to, you could do it. I scanned my stuff and all that good stuff. And, but since I talk to you guys on my phone, I can't like plug it into my tracker app. I should use my iPad someday. Anyway, so there's that. Um, and you know, I love, love, love my salad dressing on my taco salad. Now you could use, um, we call that, why can I never remember? Sour cream, you could use Greek seasoning, you can use whatever you want to do. I just like this flavor of my dressing. So there's that. And then that is my, oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. And you zero it out. And you say, well, I want a few tomatoes on here. So you take your tomatoes and you drop them in. And you say, okay, 70 grams of tomatoes. Dad, gum it! I forgot my salsa. Y'all just let me forget everything tonight. Y'all are just getting on my nerves, making me forget everything. All right, so salsa. <clears throat> That's the salsa I've got. 
and it's 10 calories for 30 grams. So I'm going to go in with 60 grams if possible. Hang on. Straighten up. Straighten up, soldier. Woo! Okay, we're going in with 100 grams. So if you did 100 grams, you just plug it in on your tracker app. And that's that. So then I did that last time. I tried to put in 60, but I got too many. That's a, that's a very heavy salsa. I need to remember that. So that'll be that. And I've pulled out my stuff. Let's see what we got tomorrow. So ground beef, which obviously is going to go with that. Our burger for in the morning and cheese for in the morning. <clears throat> that is a um, oh, butternut squash. And oh, yeah, buddy. Oh, that's that country country pork ribs. Whoop, whoop. We're going to put this in the refrigerator and put, and put this in the refrigerator. I'll be right back. All right, so we have our salad done. Let's go on and put that down in our lunchbox. I'm actually taking some stuff to work tomorrow. Whenever I have to take something to work, I put it down in my lunchbox so I don't forget. I've got... Uh, I wanted to take some some no caffeine tea, so I got some tea in this jar, and then I want, I've got some Advil cold and sinus, so put that down in there. All right, so <clears throat> ground beef. Need to get some seasonings on it. So these are the same things that I put on the vegetables. Medium fajita and mild southwestern. Um, what's this one? Just everything seasoning. That sounds good. And some of my Bravo Avo. And when I get to work tomorrow, I find I will find out if I need salt or not. I didn't add any salt because I just don't know. Usually, I do need salt, but I didn't add it today. All right, so we got our salad down in there. We have our meat down in there. So that will be lunch along with my apple. Blame Canada. Blame Canada. And then we need a spoon, of course. I have extras at work in case I ever forget, but I got my spoon. And then breakfast is going to be my burger and cheese. Listen, don't worry. I'm not making my oatmeal tomorrow. I know. That was kind of hard on some y'all. I know it was hard. And I'm sorry. I had it on Friday. And I'm sorry if it was kind of hard on y'all. But I don't want to hide things from you. That's not what my channel is about. <clears throat> my channel is about my healing. And, <clears throat> and about my journey. And my journey through maintenance. And if you have done anything with Dr. Atkins' books and stuff, you know that he had his phases, his induction phase, and then phase one, two, and three. And, and, um, and so in his book, you know, he slowly added some things back. Not everything, of course, but some things. And I'm not going to look to add a bunch of bread or a bunch of pasta or potato chips. It's not what I'm looking at. With the things that I'm adding back, other than my sauces, you know, I ain't giving up my sauces and my G Hughes and my <clears throat> and that kind of stuff. Well, I mean, we know that stuff isn't clean, but oats, the old fashioned oatmeal. Um, what I've done as far as the you know research on how they make it, because I've watched several videos about how they make it, and it yeah, they 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 give it a steam bath and then they roll it through this thing that gives it that flat texture and um. But it's not processed in the same in the same sense as like hang on, I'll get the box. Okay. And here I am defending myself. I ain't got to defend myself, but I am explaining it to you. Just to just to settle, just to calm your nerves a little bit. Because I am gonna have them again. And I don't know when, but I just want you to calm your tits. Alright? Calm your tits. Sorry, Judy. Anyway, <clears throat> so the ingredients on these, it says. Whole grain rolled oats. So whole grain rolled oats. <clears throat> We're looking for things. I'm looking for things. I don't know what you're doing. But I'm looking for things that are, you know, minimal ingredients. I'm not. I'm looking for things that 
don't have all the dextrose and the and the fruit to well, fruit, fruit. The things that have the multiple ingredients. Um, other than my sauces, I ain't giving those up. But it, when I'm adding something back, I'm adding it back for a testing. You know, I want to get to know what I can and can't have. Uh, we're all made different. You know, some of us have uh, gluten intolerance. Some of us have uh, sugar intolerance. Some of us have, I don't know, potato intolerance. You know, we all have different things that we all kind of, we have to try things out. We have to experiment. And, you know, after, after, <clears throat> after everything I've been through, I need to know what happens to me if I add something back. I already know what happens to me if I were to add ice cream back. I know exactly what would happen to me. If I added bread back, I know what bread would do. Bread would mean a lot of things. Bread would mean, well, okay, I can have some crackers here and there. Well, if I can have some crackers, then I can have some pasta here and there. If I could have, um, you know, if I could have some pasta here and there, well, then I could have some some potato flake, fake potato, mashed potatoes. If I could have mashed potato, fake mashed potatoes, then I can have fake tortilla shells. I don't know. So, <clears throat> you see, I'm adding, this is one ingredient. I'm not adding back the tortilla shells with 20 ingredients. I'm not adding, adding back the bread with 20 ingredients. This right here has one ingredient in it. And so, for me... I'm just testing it out. I want to know if I feel different. I didn't notice that I felt any different. However, I had that steroid shot on Friday, on Thursday. So I may not know if I would feel any different. So that's why, you know, you will see me eating that again. But I just want to have this conversation with you a little bit to kind of calm you down a little bit. Don't, don't, be, don't, be, don't be so sassy. Don't be so sassy. We're all different. And, you know, I need to see how I'm healing and what my body can tolerate and not tolerate. Because that's what it's all about. Um, if you watch um, Michaela Peterson, that's what she's done. You know, she had to go straight carnivore. And then she tried adding back some tea. And that worked out okay for a little bit. But then she added something else that didn't work out. So she had to get that back off that. So <clears throat> I need to know for myself what I can have and not have. And as much as I love you guys, I can't not try something because I'm worried that people will be stressed about it. So, and don't get me wrong, y'all didn't fuss at me. Not a one of y'all said, oh my gosh, she's going to the dark side. Not a one of y'all said anything negative. I'm just, I'm just preparing you so that way you will see me add some things sometimes. And, um, and it's going to be okay. If it doesn't turn out okay, well then... I'll get off it and try something else. Um, in February, you know, we had talked about magnesium. In February is when I have my appointment with my primary care doctor. And um, <clears throat> I'd really like to see how my labs are going to be in February. So it'd be good for me to have this several times. Um, so then that way I can see, is my A1C up? Is my A1C the same? Is it down? So there's kind of a method to my madness. And not to mention, you know, my magnesium, we've talked about, or I talked about how I'm, I'm looking at weaning down my magnesium. Well, you know, maybe you don't know, but um, supplements, that is not regulated. And so you may have 200 milligrams of magnesium in one pill, but two magnesium, two grams of magnesium in another pill. So there's no regulation with um, supplements and so now some of them do some of the higher end ones will pay um, more but you got to pay a lot more for them but <clears throat> there is no regulation for supplements right now and so because of that just because I'm buying and taking 800 milligrams of magnesium oxide does not mean I'm really getting 800 milligrams of magnesium oxide in every tablet so I'm not saying I'm not I'm just saying that supplements is kind of a it's kind of one of those things, you know, it's kind of one of those tin foil hats. Either you're really into them, you're really not into them, you believe in them, you don't. So for me, for me, I'm, I'm trying to wean myself off of the magnesium to see what happens. So far, I've not had any issues. I'm still poop, pooping the same, sorry. Um, I am still um, 
you know, I'm still getting to sleep, which I was terrified I wasn't going to be able to go to sleep, but I did, did, had been sleeping fine. Um, so, and, and I'm not having any leg cramps or anything. Um, so it's, it's just, you can't just get, I was extremely dogmatic, extremely on every single thing on my way down. And that's good because it got me here. But now that I'm here, I want to see, did I even need this magnesium in the first place? You know, so I go to my doctor every year and she checks my lab work. And so, um, so I want to go again this year and see what she has to say. And um, if it's low, I'll get, I'll take some magnesium. I don't have a problem taking it if I need it. But I don't want to take it if it's not something I actually need. Like an allergy pill, Lord, y'all hear me? Snot runs down the back of my throat 24-7. I have bad allergies. I live in Swamp East, Missouri. I'm always, even when I was a little kid in grade school, we'd be in the middle of tests and I'd, <clears throat> <clears throat> and the kids, they'd turn around and glare at me. They're like, stop coughing, Terry. And so anyway, I, my whole life I've had allergy and, and sinus drainage. So I need a Zyrtec every night. I've tried without it and it ain't so good. Um, but, um, but as far as magnesium, I don't know. I, but I need to know. I need to find out if it's something I really need. So I, I'm just telling you all this so that way you all can understand that right now it's about my health. My health and how, how things fit into my life. Because if I don't try it, I won't know it. And I don't want to blindly just, just take magnesium for the rest of my life if my labs are perfectly fine and I never needed it in the first place. And if it wasn't even doing me anything any positive. You know, and I won't know it unless I wean it out. So there's just things like that that I, I tell you all about. And um, it's scary. I know. I know when you hear somebody making changes, it's scary. Because I follow people and they make changes. And let me tell you, when I went from carnivore to keto, I was terrified. Literally terrified. I had spent two years <clears throat> in those extreme carnivore Facebook groups. You were not even allowed to say any word that was not about meat. Like you were not allowed to say, I cheated and I had some vegetables. That would get, that would get, uh, you'd get in trouble. And some people got kicked out of the group. It was that strict. So when I went from carnivore to keto, all I thought, I thought, you know, the end of the world was going to happen if I ate some veggies. But it didn't. Nothing happened. Not one thing was different. I don't feel different. I don't do anything different. Like I'm not nauseated. I don't have the bloating. I don't have the gas. I don't have all the things that so many people had and talked about when they were in the carnivore group. So <clears throat> because, you know, I was able to go from carnivore to keto. Now I want to see if I can add a whole, uh, a whole grain something to my diet. Um, I don't think grain, I don't think a single ingredient oatmeal is what got me fat. That's not. It was the pizza. It was the fries. It was the shake. It was the, oh, the fancy, ah, uh, the fancy coffees with all the sugars and stuff in it. It was that kind of stuff that caused my problem. So now I'm just, you know, I, I need, I need to explore. But I will here to tell you, if you'll ever, and I do mean this, I mean this, if you ever see me promoting a bunch of a bunch of keto bars, a bunch of, um, I don't know, multi-grain bars, you know, things like that. So I'm skipping my meal because I'm eating this Cliff Bar or whatever brand there is. <clears throat> That's what I don't want. That's the things that I'm not going to be incorporating into my diet. That's not a whole food. I'm looking for one ingredient, whole foods, that I can expand my horizons a little bit and test it. So that's when you really need to come at me in the comments is if I start adding things that are not a whole food. So like I said, this is a whole food. It may not be a, a zero carb food, but like I said, I, I, I will make a point this week um, when I can to, um, to uh, maybe, I'll have to check my, um, I don't think I did, I have all the macros forever, the stuff I made. But yeah, I will make a point to kind of one day, maybe this week or next week, do a uh, do some tracking at least for a couple of days, so we can kind of see you know where my macros fall 
And because uh, I guarantee you, I know last time I checked, I was 150, 150, 175 carbs a day. So I am not keto. And you, you ain't keto with 150 carbs a day. No. But I am eating whole foods. I'd say 80, 20, 85, 25, somewhere in there. And for me, that fits a whole food. But now I have to see, is my body going to have a negative reaction? So, all right. I have beat that horse to death. And he's not even kicking. He's laying on the ground like, and the horse is like, quit, 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 quit beating me. I'm already dead. He's already stanking and full of rot. So, all right, you guys. I love y'all, and I'll see you at breakfast. Happy Monday. We got our cheese. We got our burger. I ain't heating it up today. I'm not even putting it on a plate. I'm going to eat like an animal. I'm just going to go. That's what. Ain't even seasoning it. So, that's my breakfast today. Okay, bye. Okay, I microwaved my ground beef. Ow. Ow. Now I'm going to add it to my salad. All right. And now I'm going to mix it up. Just a second. All right. So, there's the taco salad. Mm -hmm. You know, it's my favorite. It's my favorite. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, I have to talk to a big group about my program. I get nervous talking in big groups, so I'm a little nervous about it, but it's okay. So, all right, you may see it supper. Gina Drummond, we are going to try. You sent this, and I'm, you know, I, I've been working through, and this is the uh, mesquite flavored one. This is one of the ones you sent me, Gina. So, we're going to put it on our, um, on our country pork ribs. Come on, let's use it. Okay, I added a touch of cinnamon, just cinnamon. Don't want to add anything sweet to it, um, to my butternut squash. But um, we're going to use this Mesquite G. Hughes barbecue sauce. Well, hang on, I got to use my thingy to open it. All right, we're going to put a little more barbecue sauce on this. There we go. Yeah, buddy. All right now. Okay, now, Gina, you knew a thing or two, didn't you? All right. So I'll put the lid on it, and this one, and we're going to get a microwave, and then we'll get supper. So give me just a second. Okay, let's taste it. We've got our butternut squash with a little bit extra cinnamon on it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All squash has that that stringy texture. I don't mind it, so it just makes me wonder if they could all be used as butter as a spaghetti squash. Have you ever tried it? Anybody ever tried using other squashes for spaghetti squash? Let me know if you have. All right. Yeah. Listen, we all know this is what we're all after. Well, what I'm after. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Hey, ho. Hey, ho. Mm-hmm. 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 And no, I ain't saying hey, ho. I'm just saying hey, ho. Hey. Mm. 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 Mr. Jeffrey from Old School Soul Food, you're my hero. I was at Walmart tonight to pick up some more fruit, and um, I looked. Our ribs are two ninety seven. 
Like, I'm paying that. So, I will use the country style ribs that I got. They're like $1.97. That's more my speed. If I'm going to pay $3 a pound for meat, it's going to be beef. I'm here to tell you. Um, I did see we have brisket on sale. And um, uh, our our brisket was $4 a pound. Now you got to buy a big old honking thing of it. Right. That long and like that thick. But I'm like, well, if I'm going to pay $4 a pound, I'd rather just get some ground beef and get it for $3 a pound. Oh, um, all right. That's been tougher. Listen, if you're still hanging in there from my lecture last night, sorry if I got a little bit wound up. I still might have a little bit of roid rage going on. All right, well, love y'all, and see you tomorrow. Bye.